2020 has been crazy and so many people are talking about homesteading. If you're at all interested in homesteading, we would love to take you along with us on our journey of starting a homestead in 2021. Let's do it. following us for any length of time, you will know that a lot of our videos have been about health and holistic lifestyle and natural remedies. And we are actually shifting our focus. While we are still living a healthy lifestyle and encouraging others to do so, we are actually focusing on homesteading. Yeah! Yeah, and we're super excited about the shift. Yes. So make sure you guys follow us on our journey as are gonna be moving to Tennessee. We're we gonna are be homesteading ourselves, and so we want you guys to follow along this journey with us. And we're really excited about it. We are indeed. In January 1st, we are actually moving to Tennessee. We live in Ohio, and so right now we're in this big preparation stage and trying to wrap up everything here and also get things established down there so that the transition is easy. But coming early, early next year. Uh, we're gonna begin this homesteading process for reals. <laughs> We've always been gardening and you know, things like that, but this is we're stepping up our game, and uh, we're just gonna take you along with us on our journey. You know, we've got some head knowledge, read a lot of books, spent a lot of time on YouTube. I uh, have a lot of friends that have done it. Um, we're gonna be implementing a lot of that head knowledge. And I grew up. I did grow up homesteading. Yes. Which, yes. And I've always loved it, and I know like it's something we've wanted for a very long time gonna do it finally and we're so excited we have three kids and it's just time for us to do this and we're so excited and we are indeed so our videos are gonna be a little bit more practical um, in the future they're gonna be more hands-on mm -hmm. um, but for now as we're preparing we want to share with you guys how we are preparing well, first off is planning ahead now a lot of times when you hear homesteading, you think, oh, I've got to have like five acres and I got to have cows and a barn and a hay mow and, uh, and, and a root cellar and a huge garden and all these different things. That's kind of what homesteading typically brings to mind. And yet we want you to know that you can homestead almost anywhere. You know, really homesteading to us, what it really means is just being more self-sufficient. And so that self-sufficiency could happen even if you're in an apartment. Could happen you know you could grow greens in an apartment you could grow them on a porch you could grow fruits and vegetables right where you are or you could also find clever ways to get access to other pieces of property you could forage in a woods if you get the permission to do so there's all kinds of ways to be more and more self-sufficient food preservation all of that so you might be stuck in an apartment you feel like you're stuck but you could still do it even where you're at start now exactly and so part of that planning and preparation is thinking what do i have at my disposal what are my options here uh, and and so getting that on paper or digitally on a word processor is a great way to kind of brain dump think about what are all my options what do i like to do and getting all those options out on the table is a great place to start so once you've got all those things on paper and that could be everything from what climate do i live in what are my available options as far as land or, or how could I grow something? What kind of space do I have at my disposal? Maybe it's not just plants. Maybe you're growing things like chickens, rabbits, goats, whatever. Um, what do I have at my disposal? And of course you're taking in things like climate. What's my growing season like? Or what's, what's my availability? You know, am I in a city that allows, some cities will allow you to have chickens in the background backyard <laughs> the background of your backyard um, and uh, some cities will even let you have bees others won't you'll have to check with your municipality the various rules so really brain dumping all that out and saying what can I do to be more self-sufficient um, yeah so 
good place to start. Just figure out how self-sufficient you want to be. Yep. Yeah, you know, for some people it's like, hey, you know, all I just really want is to kind of like take care of my salad greens. Well, you can easily do that in a small location. Uh, maybe someone says, you know, I'd like to grow 75% of all my food. It's a lot more ambitious. And so you're necessarily going to have to be, have access to some kind of land um, in order to do that. So getting a plan started is first, get it all out on paper. And then another thing is when you're looking for land, like what are you going to look for in that piece of property that you're mm -hmm. going to be looking for? Because there are so many things you need to look for. I mean, where are you going to get your water? You know, a good source of water is super important. Um, mm -hmm. The What kind of ground? What kind? What's around that piece of property? You know, there's so many things to look at. Anything else that you can think of? Yeah, well, I mean, I mean yeah, I like what's the sunlight? Is, yeah. Um, we can put a whole different list. In fact, I think we did put a, a, a bit of a list up on our Facebook group. But uh, yeah, it's all things like sunlight and, and water availability. And, and soil health is good, of course. Um, what are your neighbors like? Um, what are the rules of your municipality? What's the terrain look like? You know, um, does it have access? Like, is it accessible? Does it, does it have a road? Uh, does it have electric? All these different things. So it can be a little mind-boggling at first, but going through and, and going through a comprehensive list and checking all those off is so important when looking for a piece of property. That will help you have the most success. You don't want to go out and maybe potentially buy a piece of property without going through all of that and planning ahead of time. Because you might get the property and be like, oh my goodness, I didn't realize this. I didn't Do your realize research. that. <laughs> Do your research, that's for yep. sure. It's very, very important. I didn't realize that the creek that I'm supposed to be getting all my water from, you know, to water my crops is going through like a evil factory, you know, that's dumping stuff in a yard, whatever. I know it's a little bit extreme, but you understand. You want to try to check off all of those things mm -hmm. and make sure you're, you're going to do it with your eyes wide open. So that goes back to your list. Back to the list. <laughs> list. <laughs> the next thing is absolutely your life. I, you know, a homestead takes work um, and time. So what are you doing that you can maybe just take out of your life? Maybe, maybe it's, um, I don't know, you're, you're doing a class that's unnecessary or your kids are in some sort of sport that it's just like, well, you know, what are you going to prioritize? What's most important to you right now? Um, so it's just simplifying your life and making it so that you have the time that you need to actually yeah, yeah, you know, instead of uh, kids kicking a ball around, um, perhaps they might also enjoy, you know, taking care of chickens and bunnies and hoeing beans. You never know. You never know. So it's it's all about the priorities, really. Yeah. Uh, what's most important and how can we fit it into our modern life? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, we do complicate it a little bit. Um, you, people think, well, I don't have time to have a homestead. But everyone can have time, but you just have to prioritize your life and make the time for that. And that's what you want to do. And you know, most people we talk to, it's like one or two hours a day is what it takes to have a homestead. You just start out on a homestead. So, um, and it could even be less. I mean, there's all kinds of tips and tricks too. It depends what you're doing, but it could even be less than that. Mm -hmm. um, really, our goal is to make things as efficient and trouble-free and hopefully um, automate it as possible so that you know you don't have to spend half of every day just sweating your brains out working in it it can be a lot easier than that yes yeah, so we have a Facebook group and we are going to be interviewing homesteaders we have been interviewing homesteaders mm -hmm. people that have have already been doing this for a, some a little bit of time some a lot of time and so um, if you want tips um, ways to just save money save time like let's learn from other people that have done it before us and so um i'll put the link to our facebook group in the description below that way you guys can check it out and just follow the journey there yeah love to see you there and thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of this video and uh, we're just really excited for you because at least you might already be homesteading or maybe 
you're just thinking about it. And either way, it's exciting. And uh, we would love to just kind of continue to build this community of uh, like-minded people that are interested in being more self-sufficient, um, kind of getting back to our roots.